even though they live one floor apart. They use the jail's plumbing system to their advantage. I can hear him screaming. What are you doing? I'm so mad at you. <laughs> You're crazy. You call me later. Get out of here, man. I love you. This method's hit or miss. Sometimes, being in love can leave a bad taste in one's mouth. Um, it's kind of difficult sometimes because when guys are flushing their toilet, you, you can taste pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Other people's fecal matter. If the couple's caught using the sink phone, they could be placed in isolation. That's a chance they're willing to take. The same goes for Dennis Sprayberry, who has other acts of defiance on his mind against those who ratted him out. If I had a chance at a snitch, I would mash their head in. I will beat the f*** out of them. He says he despises people who snitch, or informers, and he even freestyle raps about it. Smoke cannons pollute y'all. Half of the homies wear a badge. Smoke cannons pollute y'all. Just ask you get the f facts. To the spray berries, stay solid f snitching. Today, Sprayberry's headed to the state penitentiary to serve out the remainder of his 10-year sentence. Peace out. Love you. Right, love God bless you. you. See you in prison. All right, see ya. See you later, JJ. Bye, Jesse. I just don't want to roll. I'll try not to. Despite the occasional rule bending from the likes of Sprayberry, there's no doubt in Sergeant Smith's mind who controls Spokane County Jail. You've got to have discipline when you got this many people in here. If you don't, you'll have chaos. Next, a dangerous transport for Cole Strandberg. You can smell death in the hallway. And a hostile inmate won't back down. Well, you m****s are real smart. Spokane County Jail. Violent inmates fester, then lash out at the staff and each other. Here, CRT is responding to an inmate refusing to cuff up for a court-ordered mental evaluation. Officers hit the inmate with pepper spray. The detainee does not react. CRT is forced to physically extract the inmate. We did not want it to come to this, but you forced the issue. After CRT restrains the man, a nurse washes the pepper spray from his eyes. Just cooperate with him. This will just go real easy. Officers place the inmate into a vehicle that will transfer him to a hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. Elsewhere, in a medium security cell block, another inmate, Edward Hines, is becoming unhinged. I am having an absolutely the most fucked up time of my life. Yeah. Absolutely in this piece okay, no, 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 Edward, stay right here. Punk Edward. Nobody likes you. Edward. Everyone knows you're a piece of shit. Sergeant Parker plays it cool, but the inmate becomes more hostile. I'm putting my shit back in my window. Edward. Hey. You want to treat people like little Do you want to talk? I talk to me. Edward. She's getting nowhere with Hines. Reinforcements arrive to assist Sergeant Parker and defuse the situation. Edward, you gonna cuff up? No. Edward, I'm gonna give you one chance to cuff up, and then we're gonna use the spray. Come on, Ice. Come on, Ed. Spray him. Yeah. 
Get over here. Put your hands up. Go for it. Following a cold shower, Hines is escorted to his new cell in the hole. It's not long before Hines voices his newest complaint. Oh, you the real smart. Where the is my towel to wash my face? This is the first time in all the years he's been coming in here that we haven't been able to talk him down. He's generally a pretty docile guy. As Hines adjusts to his new accommodations in the hole, his neighbor, Cole Strandberg, gets ready for court. CRT's goal is to use the least amount of force possible. And that goal even applies to Strandberg, an inmate who's been violent in the past. Officers prepare to transport the most infamous inmate in Spokane County. Today, a hearing date will be set to determine whether Strandberg is mentally competent to stand trial. If the camera can see me right now, I have my eyes are black. I have my eyes are black. I got a face like a pit bull. And if you can see my tongue, it's a dog's tongue. I have a dog's tongue. I'm going to court today? Oh, I didn't know I was going to court today, no. Sergeant Smith and members from CRT approach Strandberg's cell for the transport. Being as unpredictable as he is, it's very important that we are on top of things. The question is, will he cooperate? Once the food slot is open, Cole sticks out his hands. Restraints are applied. CRT must remain vigilant at all times. In the past, Strandberg has threatened to sexually assault and kill his attorney. Even inside the courtroom, CRT's job isn't over. You never know what's going to happen. Whether that person jumps up out of the chair and wants to get irate, whether that person gets mad at his attorney or gets mad at the prosecutor. Strandberg behaves. The judge sets a date to determine his mental competency. Please rise. I don't die. I'm a man that doesn't die. Uh, if I get shot, it doesn't do anything to me. Many inmates have already been diagnosed with a mental disturbance. Up against a population of mentally ill, coupled with alleged addicts, gangbangers, and murderers, Sergeant Smith and his team will do whatever they can to keep Spokane County Jail as safe as possible. It's something different every day. It never gets boring. At his competency hearing, Cole Strandberg was determined to be severely disturbed and not mentally competent to understand the murder charges against him. He will be involuntarily medicated and remain at Spokane County Jail for the foreseeable future, keeping CRT on high alert. Well, I'm responsible for the, for the end of the world. They, they say that I'm the Antichrist. 